What's up, Paracruz? I'm Paradomics, and welcome to Black Chapter, Sanctuary of Despair. So one of the developers was kind enough to actually lend me this game and gave me a, f a free a code to the game, and I was able to get it for free. Hey, I thank you for that, developers. And apparently they saw one of my uh, gameplays on Return, One Way Trip, the demos, and they thought it was I did an amazing job with it. <laughs> of course, it's me. So apparently this RPG horror game is supposed to be inspired by the mixing elements of Corpse Party, uh, Witch's House, and Danganronpa. And I know those three games. Those three games I am familiar with. I do, however, have a problem with one of those games, uh, which is The Witch's House. Danganronpa, okay, fine. I, I love a good mystery game. I love a good detective, or he did, he, she, he said, she said, mystery games and then find the culprit. You know, I'm fine with that. Corpse Party, I'm fine with a little bit of gore, all right? I played Mortal Kombat. I've watched a lot of death scenes for, for some reason. I don't know why I watch death scenes videos. But. <laughs> but The Witch's House, although that game was very brilliant and was did not end on a happy note, regardless of what ending you got, I have a problem with the elements of The Witch's House being the random death. So what do I mean by the random death? Well, uh, here's an example of a random death from a game called Aria Story. Uh -huh. oh, no. oh God, what the fuck? That, that right there is the problem that I have with these RPG horror games are the random deaths that occur for no absolute reason, with no explanation. They just kill you because they can kill you. And the witch's house has a lot of those. Like if you interact with one thing, if you do the right thing, you die. You die by just doing the right thing or you died because you had no idea that you're not supposed to be there yet or you, f you suck basically. So, <laughs> as much as I hate that kind of element, I do hope that it's not gonna be, that's not gonna be the case with this game. Alright, I hope this is more on the Danganronpa and the Corpse Party thing, because at least those two games don't kill you outright. Alright, so anyways, let's begin the game. Um, oh, space. Alright. Oh, print. <laughs> Press space or enter to advance the text or interact with objects or people. Okay. What happened to Z and X? Isn't that like a normal, the normal RPG controls? I kind of prefer that. All right. My name is Evan Gray. I am 18. I'm an 18 year old high school student and a lone survivor of the Gray family. Oh, I guess. So are you alone now? That usually attracts some sympathy for from people. Well, I, I sympathize with you now after hearing the fact that you, your entire family died. Your, your entire bloodline died. Yeah. That is until they learn I inherited a large fortune from my once affluent family. Suddenly, the sympathy disappear. Oh. What? Screw those people. Well, just because you have a lot of money means that you're, you're not suffering? That's... Those, those people are assholes. I'd still be sad about that. Well, I don't want to think about these things right now. After all, I made a promise to myself that I would live a fulfilling life, worthy of everything my parents worked so hard to give me. Yeah. While I don't remember my parents, I do know they love me. And that promise is something I will remember. In order to get the best education possible, I went to Canterbury High School of England. Oh, high school in England. It's expensive and probably a huge waste of money, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, ha have you heard of Skillshare? <laughs> have you heard of YouTube? Have you heard of tutorials that people give for free online if you just spend for your internet? <laughs> hey! The field trips are nice, though, including the field trip to the famous Doral Cathedral. This again? But most of all, I made so many friends here. 
maybe even a, an amazing come on snap out of it girlfriend <laughs> I know I could give a high pitch could be a problem jeez you were spacing out again sorry I got lost in my thoughts oh so nice I like this looking pretty cool now yeah I know it's not the first time sorry oh Emily as her name as a member of the history club we gotta explore this together yeah we have a lot of ground to cover since we're the only members now you've got this just the two of us come on let's look around man why are we even here and why did april have to come along Ugh. oh shut up already go back to fantasizing about you or something what Get off my case. Are you, are you like siblings or something? I don't do that often. Ugh, what a loser. Hey, I heard that. Surprise. Are you a trap? The last time I heard somebody call themselves surprise was a trap. I'm gonna I'm gonna say you're a girl just because you have a chest, right? I even told everyone to call me Surprise Chan. My IO name is my only name. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, that's Yuki. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Surprise. Wait, that's what you were mad about? Yeah. Brian can fantasize and draw all the fan art he wants. I'm a super cute idol after all. Surprise Chan. You're so kind. Oh, by the way, I saw the last unboxing video of your Fate cosplay. It was perfect. Fate Stay Night? Who did she dress up as? Probably a purple hair girl. Thank you, Brian. i really glad you liked it. See, April? Unlike you, she's not a total b- Finish that sentence and I'll end you. Guys, don't fight. We told Miss Adley we would, have, we would behave and be nice to each other. That was the condition for letting us come along, alone, after all. That lazy teacher should be here. She's pretty hot, though. What? What does that have to do with anything? You're just a pervert. No. Well, yeah, but I bet Evan thinks so, too. She looks really young and has those huge... Not that I have a preference for anything big. I still like Surprise Chan the most, after all. I'm glad we got to visit the cathedral today. What? Don't change the subject. Anyways, I found this strange document. I think it's written in like Chinese or something. And I, can you read this? I'm Japanese, just like surprise chat. <laughs> ah. Also, I'm quite sure that's Latin. My third language is German. You might have a better luck asking Evan. I think I know. I think he knows Latin. I don't know why I'm giving her an accent. She just said she's Japanese. God, you're so stupid. How can you confuse Roman characters for Chinese? Seriously. Yeah, seriously. It was just a figure of speech, dumbass. Hope a statue falls on you. That'd be nice. Anyways. Evan, what does this document say? Let me see. It says, Devagan was not allowed to exist. Oh, will not be allowed to exist. All will perish. The hell does that? No idea, honestly. Never seen this word before. Might be a misspell or a weird name. That's lame. Well, whatever then. Hey guys, wasn't there supposed to be a statue here? Statue of the First King? Yeah, I was looking forward to seeing it. Maybe they move it to the statue back to the deanery? You can check there. This place is officially closed by the public right now, after all. What? Why? Why is it closed? I'll have to take a look. Alright. Who are those two people down there? I have not seen. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Yeah, who are those two people down there? The blue. 
blue hair and the and the red and the red hair. Oh no no, the blue hair at the bottom is Hanai. Who's the red hair girl? I must see. I must see this exquisite artwork of art while I can. Yep, let's look around while we have time. Let's go, Evan. Uh, all right. Hey, Evan. Hi, Elisa. How's the trip? Good. We haven't talked much recently, huh? Yeah, sorry about that. I've been spending a lot of time with my club members. Let's hang out later. Evan, come on! I have to go now. I look forward to I look forward to it. Bye. Aw, she looks nice. <laughs> Special little dude. Nah, she looks pretty nice. Oh. Hey, where are we going? There's nothing here. I just... wanted to talk to you. Alone. Oh? You know... We've known each other for a while now. I was... There you are! Hanai says she found the tablet of this king's speech or whatever. <sighs> Let's finish this later. As a club president, I have to see that for myself at least once in my life. Hey, Evan. How are we spending time with Emily, huh? Don't you think there are other cute girls you could be spending time with? Like me, for example. <laughs> well, we've known each other for a long time. And we're in the same club. That's why. Maybe I should spend more time with everyone else, too. Well, make sure to spend time with me first. Nah, the first person I'd spend time with would be Elisa. <laughs> For reasons that just none of your business. See ya! We should go see what everyone's up to. Nah, let's investigate around. With this very chill music. I kinda like this art style. Oh my god, this mouse has been here the entire time! That's very annoying. Can't press stop to pause and save by interacting with the cross the wall. Oh, okay. You can save the game here. Yeah. Okay. Video you blocking it. Seems like most of the doors are locked. Make sure to pick up any keys you find. What do you want to talk about? Dude, it's way too hot for those uniforms. Don't tell me you're going all perfect student like Anai over there. We need to be able to use our summer uniform if it gets hot, you know. Due to global warming and all that. You should take off your blazer at least. Nah. Do you know what Buroki means in Japanese? Basically, it's a girl who acts cute in front of boys. That's usually not their true personality though. They're more common in Japan. I'm sure you've met a couple of them. Do you want to talk about something? Price Chan may sound a little weird in English, but in Japanese, but Japanese people like to use English word like that as a stage name. I guess it makes sense. I assure you, it doesn't sound stupid to her audience. <laughs> Do you like art? When you think of art, you probably think you probably think about these paintings. Yet art takes many different forms. Anyway, here, take this. Just light it up when you explore in dark rooms. Uh, candles? Hey, as long as it works. That's all people had back in the days. Embrace history the right way. Plus, I'm sure your phone battery isn't doing too well. Well, you're not wrong. Hey! Oh, surprise chat. Kind of, it's kind of boring. But now that you're here, we're going to have fun. Let's go look around. Spend time with Surprise Chan. Maybe later. I'm gonna spend time with you. Have you ever heard of the tragedy of Dean Harvey? The just. Oh, of course not. It's not something they teach in school. What? Okay. I have no reason to go in there. Aren't we supposed to be looking for something? I bet there's a lot of reasons to go in there. Uh, where is... where is Emily? Oh, there's a door here. Oh, I'm tired! It's locked. I could get tired?! Wait, it won't open. What's... Oh, the door... What's that? This must lead to the cathedral proper, but the door won't budge. Oh. This 
statue looks pretty cool. Emily told me this speech is significant. Do you know why? Ah, never mind. Of course you do. Hmm, interesting. Hey! Let's keep looking around. Yeah, let's go. Here we are. I was checking in this area before, but there's something really odd about this room. Come on, I'll show you. Wait, how did you open that? Oh, budge. Where did my phone go? It's really dark here. Hold on, I got a candle. Really? Really. Yoon was kind enough to give it to me. Alright. Let's, well, light it up. Uh, inventory candle map. This room looks a bit different from the official map to fix. There's also these floors that make sounds when you step on it down the hall. Could be traps! Alright, let's check it out. Did you find anything interesting? Has to wait here. Why the hell would I do that? You may want to walk a bit faster, please. Oh, here we go. Wait, Emily, come back. Did you find anything interesting? Alright, come here. I found something very interesting. So I need you to stay there. Can I bring one of these chairs? Books were in that. That open. A heavy urn. I dare not look what's inside. Yeah. Alright, put the urn, put the urn here. There's no effect. Gosh damn it. Okay. Oh, anything interesting? Yeah, give me a sec. Oh, Emily, you're playing a dangerous game there. Oh god, no, I didn't mean that. Wait, what? Why would I do that? Why the hell would anyone do that? Alright. I guess when you're hiding from an enemy. Oh, okay. Wait, hang on. Okay. Stop asking me if I found something interesting. Let's just go. Alright. Gosh damn it, get in there. No. Stay. No, stay. Oh my god. I feel like Lee. I feel like, feel like I'm playing Resident Evil again. It's another piece of cold stone. Very old slab with an Comprehensible text. The, the queen holds the key. What? Not the display case. Find anything interesting. It's not a piece of The queen. The queen holds the key. Giving me a lot of Resident Evil vibes. Oh, go all the way here for a key. Oh, go all the way there for a key. Oh, go back all the way here for a key. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of Resident Evil stuff I know. Lock, but it looks like the Ash Room key might fit. Yay, we did it. Okay. This must be the an old prayer room. It looks completely untouched by modern society. Oh. You will never leave this place, Devagon. What was that? I'm not sure. I don't like this. Let's get out of here. Yeah, can I... Can I, uh... Okay. Oh, this wasn't here. Devergun will... Will never be allowed to roam this world again. Okay. That room was really strange. I 
I get the feeling there's a lot of things about this place we don't understand. I'm going to see if the door on the north side is open. Can you check out the other two rooms down here? Oh, what? You crazy? You le you want me to ch go back in the rooms down here? No, I'm going with Surprise Chad. Surprise Chad. Surprise Chad. Hey, I want to hang out. Oh, of course they're gone. Of course. At least son has gone too. Brian's busy checking out the page. Actually, don't you make a living selling artwork online or something? Yeah, I do. I mostly do it for fun, though. I mean, my parents still pay for everything. Yeah, this school's pretty expensive after all. Yeah. They're still in the US, though. So I'm just living alone, like just like you. I'll show you my work sometimes. Well, the only difference is that my parents seems to be not with me, Brian. But know that it's not meant for the general audience. Huh? Sounds good. Oh, okay. Anti artist, I think. I don't think we can get this open. I really wonder why they locked up everything. What's the point of only seeing the cloisters? Did you need. Did you check out the other room on the other side? Yes, I have. You better not break the door. We have to go back soon, anyways. Alright, I'm safe. I'm praying to the gods above. Alright. I'm not going to see him stitch. I don't really care much for it. Aww. Oh, don't say that. Where is. Why are you all here alone? The inner doors are locked. What a crappy field trip. I wish we had just gone to the beach instead. Yeah. Definitely paid to get to see at least the key or something. Wait, it's horrible. Wait, where? Oh, she said there's two more. Oh, there's two more here. Okay, let's go with this door. Yes, this door that's magically open now. Wow, full of weapons. Swords better not start falling down on me. It's locked. Look at this lead. Hell, fine. So we're looking crazy. All right. What's this? An old ladder. All right. Nothing there. Where's Elisa? Oh, speak of the devil. Or Elisa. I don't know what his name is. Hey, heaven. There's nothing interesting here. Just a rundown dorms of the priests and the ones that once lived here. I see. So, have you found anything interesting? I found an old altar that wasn't on a map, but besides that. Oh, did you? Too bad we can't go inside the cathedral. I think we should. Hey Evan, are you in here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm It's okay, let's talk later. Yeah, what's that? You'll be a jealous there? You'll be a jealous there, Emily? Hello! <laughs> so this is the dorm, huh? It honestly doesn't look as bad as I imagined. So, you're hanging out with Elisa. Oh no, I just met you here by chance. Oh, okay. Can you help the others get the prior doors unlocked? Since you're pretty reliable at this kind of stuff. Yeah, sure. Something interesting inside. It's an empty room. How do you know this? How can I at least open them? Can you go in? Okay, turn around a bit. Do you want to talk about something? And I... Our interests are completely different, but we're still best friends. It's kind of hard to believe she does Kendo. Well, the more you know about her, the more it makes sense. I guess that's fair. I wonder if Elisa's making me busy all the time so that I don't. Oh no, I wonder if Emily's making me busy all the time so I don't get to talk to Elisa. Alright. Help her? Yeah. Yay! I already lost interest in this. It's almost five already. We have to go back anyways. Kind 
guys. Well, who cares about them when I have you here? Hey. going on here? We're surprised, Jan! Someone's playing a prank. This isn't funny. We all get in serious trouble for vandalizing public poultry. Someone wrote an ominous message in the wall, apparently. Probably he and the over here, over here, given his love for really creepy stuff. It wasn't me, man. Why would I do that? Devagan is among you. Destroy it. Or perish together. Huh? What's th that's what the message says. What the hell is a Devagon, anyways? It's the same thing as a demon, I think. Although I read a book, I read I read in a book, I found that it has human qualities too. Anyways, this is unacceptable. We have to clean it right away. Where's our cosplay star? Surprise, Chan? Is she the prankster? What? She would never do something dumb like this. Yeah, I can't imagine her doing. How about we go get her while you guys clean this up? Or maybe the prankster can clean this up. Guys, I'm sure there's a misunderstanding. Let's go get let's go to her and get the bottom of this. Oh no, I got the feeling she's the first person who died. No. Surprise, Jan. I was just joking. Was it because I didn't hang out with her first? This is a waste of time. What? I won't open. Oh. This is where I last saw her. one behind a prank. She's not here. Check the dorms. What do you mean the creepy room in the bottom right? Hell no! I'm not doing that! You do that! Nothing here. Oh. Nothing here it seems. Oh god, the dorm, the one with many doors with the chance that there might be a jump scare. Idea from our school. The portrait shows a young boy with her oriental features. You can. Damn it! I got, I got, I got bamboozled. I know. Ah! I got bamboozled. Okay, so apparently, surprise, Chan is a boy. I guess I should have figured that out when her, her name was already. Surprise! Yuki, this must be surprise, Chan's brother. Is this here? Should we turn it? Again? We should meet up with everyone. Yeah, what the fuck was that all about? And plus, that's the same. That's exactly how Yuki disappeared. I mean, surprise chat. Any luck finding surprise chat? But I found her ID, I think. What? Let me see that. But this is her ID, man. It's a guy named Yuki, apparently. Oh, I guess it's her brother. They look similar. In Japan, the names are swapped, so the last name is displayed first. I guess Yuki's their last name. Ah, oh, okay. Or it could be possible that, you know, Surprise Chan is actually a boy. You know, that's nonsense, Brian. Yuki is a first name. Plus, there, that's a Western ID. The family goes where, where you expect it to go. Yeah, but I regret to inform you that Surprise Chan does not have a brother. I knew it. Huh? Then Surprise Chan is a boy. What? For real? Why did you tell us? Well, like you guys say, I'm not a snitch. I guess that's why the teachers didn't give Yuki a hard time over not using the official uniform. It's pretty cute though, I have to admit. How did I not found out before? It's because you're an idiot. Shut the hell up, April. Well, that doesn't change anything. We still need to find her and get out of here. Where is Emily? Maybe she found surprise Jen. I saw Emily going through the storage room next to the dorm. Alright, I'll go get her. And we're gonna find her with the body of April. Oh, of Yuki.
Emily? Hey, Emily? Are you okay? What the hell happened? I need to call for help. Is your phone not working either, April? I don't get it. There's no signal anywhere here, but there was before. The exit doors won't open either. So you're saying we're stuck here? We need to take her to a hospital right now. It's no use. She's already gone. She's right. I can't believe this. How could this happen? I don't get it. I was talking to her just moments ago before. Damn it. Evan. Looks like she fell from that ladder there. And landed on a crate. Maybe hit her head. It doesn't seem right. Why not? There's blood coming from her body. I think there's another wound somewhere. So you're saying... I don't know what I'm saying. But Brian... But what Brian said is wrong. Fine. Let's look around and find out what happened. Someone go outside call for help. You should get signal there. Already... I'm already tried. But okay. Alright. This crate's been knocked over. Is the door open? It's locked. Alright, it's detective time, right? This all seems weird. I saw Emily walk through the store minutes ago. When we, were, when we were searching for surprise chan. I was outside pretty much the entire time. Yet I did not hear anything come from this room. It just doesn't make sense. I think Brian was with Emily before. I'm sure he must know something. There seems to be an open wound in her abdomen. It's the cause of death. I'm not sure. I can't... Imagine what happened here. Are you ready to discuss? No, I need more time. So you want to find out what happened? It's going to be messy. You can't leave. All right. So there's knock. The crates were knocked over. And these are heavy-looking crates. So if it was knocked over, that means she was trying to get away from from somebody. But then she couldn't make it in time. A bloody ceremonial hole oh, in this barrel. Oh, okay, that's good. I found evidence. There's a wound on her head, but most of the blood seems to be poured out from another deeper in her abdomen. Compared to the one just All right, I I think it's Brian. Okay, first off, the reason why I think it's Brian is because one, he immediately pointed out that she hit her head. Even though clearly she's bleeding everywhere else. So the fact that he pointed out something so obvious that she hit her head, as if she's he's trying to direct the idea that the cause of death was a blow to the head. I'm guessing that he knows something about this. Alright, let's uh let's, let's talk about this. I should get more clues first. What? I did get more clues. I found a ceremonial knife. Well, what do I do? Can I pick it up? Can I get it? Extinguish the candle. Oh that's I found. Oh, wait. Oh my God! Oh wait, wait, one of one of the swords missing. I just realized that. It just could be one of the swords too. All right, I've got enough. Let's start with the cost of death. She fell from the ladder and hit her head or something. What more do you want? No, no use trying to complicate things. Evan, I'm sure you realize he's wrong. What's the real cause of death here? Uh, a ghost killed her. Oh. She's actually that she's never against her walls. So a stab wound in her abdomen. Precisely. Wait a minute. I agree. The wound looks lethal. But how could she have a wound on her head as well? How did she even get a wound anyway? Well, she fell, right? Even blood on the ladder. I'll just say it since everyone else is 
she was murdered. She's right. How could you be so sure? A piece of evidence that rules out other possibilities. The bloody ceremonial sword. The sword that killed Emily. And the murderer got, got it from the weapon rack in the back. There's no other explanation. The murderer hastily tried to make it look like an accident. But it was in a hurry. It was right outside the entire town. There's no way anyone could have gone in or out. I didn't even hear anything. What do I cry? Yeah, I didn't see anything either. There's a door in the back in the back next to the weapon rack that's that housed the murder weapon. And the way the barrels were knocked over suggests someone came here or at least went there at some point. Alright, it still doesn't make sense. Who could do that to Emily? Without them or Emily herself making a sound. Surely Brian would have heard something. I told you, I heard nothing coming from this room. To, to be able to carry this out, the murderer must be a friend of Emma. The killer is none other, none other than one of us. What? She was attacked from the front, wasn't she? The killer was... The killer even knocked over some crates. Only someone close to her could have gotten close and stabbed her. She was too confused to even scream. That means one of you. Alright, I'm getting sick of this. You guys are playing detective when you don't know anything. What the hell? We should get out of here and call for help immediately. Surprise Chan is still missing too. She's right. We won't accomplish anything here. However, we should be careful. There's no doubt we're in danger. We should form groups and search for Yuki on the way out. Oh, I get the feeling Brian has is been possessed by... He's been possessed by the guy, by Devagon. That's why he doesn't know anything. And I think, and I think it is Brian because April is defending him. It's like she, she's immediately like, um, immediately like g removing the idea that it could be one of us because people will start suspecting that it's Brian. Evan, come with me. All right, Brian and you. Follow Elisa. This is the entrance to the deanery. I have a feeling we're in greater danger than we realize. Even us. Let's be careful. Can I, can I go back out? I shouldn't go off on my own. I want to save! Oh, gosh damn it. Okay, I guess we're continuing this. Elisa? What's going on? Why did the door close? I don't know. I have to find a way out somehow. Elisa? She seems to have left. I must move forward. Well, that's pretty sus. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. All right. All right. So, anyways, I'm going to end the video here. That Things are getting kind of juicy now. The murder, the death. Uh, I get the feeling it is Brian, though, who got possessed by Devagon. Uh, the only reason why I suspect it's him is because he was the only one who... Who was outside of the door and was closer to Emily. And it can't be surprised, Chan, because I was just with her and then she just automatically just dis disappeared. So yeah, anyways, uh that's all that's all I have to say for this game. Uh if you guys want to try this game out for yourself, I'll leave a link to the description down below. Again, thank you developers for lending me a copy of this game. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm getting hooked by it too. But now it's getting creepy because I'm all alone now. Anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up, like button to death. Become a packer today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Is it this crow? Is the crow talking to me? You guys have really, you guys really have a better view.